Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Last time we talked about an on delay. Today I want to show you how an off delay is working. I will not make it that detailed like last time, I only show you the final, the final conclusion. All right. So we're also using a monostable time element. Yeah. This is the time element. We're again having two outputs, the output and the inverted output. And we're again having a triggered input. However, this time I make, I make it inverted. Yeah? So this is also a time element, let's say four milliseconds. And this time I'm not using an end, I'm using an OR at the end here. So here we have an OR. And exactly of the same reason, so not really the reason uh, that this is necessary logically, however, we need a delay. We need to delay the above part. So I'm using again two knots here yeah, for the second input of the OR. And here we have the input. Here we have the output O. Here we have again X and not X. Well, not X is not that, that critical right now. And let's say again, our input I is changing to one certain point in time. And another point in time, we change to zero. This is our input. Yeah. Then our ix here yeah, is a little bit later. This is ix. Yeah. So this is actually the times where those things are switching. Okay, let's have a look at x. Yeah. X, it's triggered by the falling edge now. It's now triggered by the falling edge. So actually, X stays zero. Triggered by the falling edge here. Adding a little bit time, because this has a switching time. And then after four milliseconds, this will be off. Here, we have this four milliseconds. Four milliseconds. Hmm? And not X is not very important right now, but this looks exactly the opposite way. Zack. Here. We have this. Exactly the opposite way. This is not X, like I said. In this, in this, we are not using it. And now we're having IX or X. All right. So this is the output O, yeah, which will stay low. And here, after the arrival of IX, will change to one. And here, even if IX was removed, here. I is also there, so we will stay high. Zack, zack. Ta ta! And really, we have a delay here of this falling edge, of delay, uh, of, of this signal. Uh, so we are delaying the off uh, for whatever reason is there. The only thing we are away from ideal world is two times. The, the, the switching of those elements. Yeah? This we're a little bit late. Yeah. That's it. Off delay. Alright. So if this come here. If this was the on delay yeah? and this is the off delay, how would an on off delay look like? Exactly the combination of both. Yeah? Exactly the combination of both. So let's have a look. 
here, I'll put this here. So we're having first the on delay. So here we have the on delay, here we have O1, well, let's go O0, yeah. and then we are adding the off delay. So with this, we make exactly this, this here. Here's the OR. Four milliseconds. And not. Yeah. On delay, off delay. Here we have our input I. Now let's see. If the input I, I'm not taking into account now the switching times, looking like that. Then, OO, uh, so we have here OO, uh, is looking like that. After two milliseconds, we'll switch to one and then turn off. Okay. So we have here the two milliseconds of this element on delay. And here, how does this look like? Yeah. So here we have here O1. It will turn on at this point in time. And will turn off later. Off delay. And here we have then the four milliseconds. Off delay. All right. This is exactly how this is working. Yeah? And of course, there are also symbols for this. The symbol for this one would look like that. Zero, and here we have four milliseconds on delay. Yeah? This is the symbol for the off delay. And here we have Symbol like that. I mean, it's pretty obvious how the how the symbol should look like. S two milliseconds on delay, four milliseconds off delay, zack zack, symbol. Two. This should be two. All right. So this is how you can realize with. Uh, with different elements, with, with the same element, with the same uh, monostable time element, yeah? you can realize different functions simply. Yeah? So we have now on delay, off delay, we can really now manage timing in our logic circuits. All right? Yeah. So that's it for for digital timers. 
Next time, we are going to talk about multiplexing. This is called multiplexing. What multiplexing is and what then demultiplexing the would be, I'm going to explain in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.